Hey guys, I'm Matthew and this is a series where I make a web design related video every day for 25 days. This is video 1, how to make a simple website on WordPress. In your browser of choice, type in wordpress.org. In the top right corner, click on get WordPress. You'll see a couple options. The one we're going with is see all recommended hosts. Click on that. On the WordPress hosting page, click on wordpress.com here. And then scroll down to the plans. We're gonna go with the free plan today. Um, that does mean that we're gonna have a WordPress panel on the top of our site. Um, but while we're figuring out what we want our website to look like, it's okay to be on the free plan. And once it's almost finished, we can then move to a different plan. So click on start with free. Here you can log in with an email. I'm gonna do that quickly. Once you fold in your information, you will get to the screen, choose a domain. And this is where you want to type in your brand name. So for the purposes of this video, I'm going to type in Hulk Designs. And you'll see lots of options, but the one we're going to go for is the one ending in WordPress.com. Select. You don't need to fill in anything on the screen, you can just click scope. And then you can choose any free template here. It doesn't really matter because we're gonna change it. So let's go with impressionists. Click continue. And click launch your site. Congrats, your site is live. So now we're going to copy that URL and close this. You can check out our site by clicking site title here. This is what our site looks like at the moment. And that's the WordPress banner because we're using the free plan. So if we click back here, it'll take us back to our dashboard and now we're going to go to appearance and click on themes over here type in 2024 click on here and click activate and click activate again Okay, once you've clicked activate twice, you can click on site title again. And you'll see your site looks a bit different now. So now we're going to start editing. Let's go back to our dashboard. Go to pages, click on all pages. And then Click edit home page. Click on the right side of the screen to close the menu here. Perfect. So now you're going to add in all the information that is relevant to your brand specifically taking out all of this generic information on the template. So I'm gonna do that quickly. I'm gonna change the setting. And double click and change this text. I'm also gonna change what this button says to contact us. Scroll down and change the next setting. So you can change this just by double clicking and then typing something else.
I'm not going to use these three sections at the bottom. So I'm going to click on them, the three dots here, and scroll down to delete. And I'm going to do that with everything that I don't want. I deleted all the text blocks under this heading but I'm gonna add a block again by clicking on the three dots and clicking add after There's lots of blocks in this section. Instead of clicking on each block to delete it, I'm just gonna delete this whole section. And the way I do that is by clicking on this white space and then clicking options and delete. It's gonna ask me if that's really what I wanna do. I'm gonna click again, delete, to remove that section. Okay, so I've replaced all the text on this page and now I want to change the images. So the way I do that is by clicking on an image, click replace, open media library. And we don't have any images here yet. So we're going to click select files. After we clicked select files, we'll see our file manager open and then we're going to navigate to the images that we want to use and we can highlight all of these images and click open now that all of our images have been uploaded we're going to choose the image that we want to use for this section i'm going to choose this image and i'm actually going to edit the image going to crop it a bit and then I'm going to click apply crop and save edits now I'm going to click select perfect I'm going to go to the next image place open media library Okay, so I replaced the images and the text and now I want to add my logo to this website. So I'm going to click on the logo area and then click again and click choose logo. Now I'm going to choose the logo that I uploaded and I'm going to delete site title and delete again and now i'm gonna enlarge this logo by holding down the left click the left click and dragging right and if i scroll down to the bottom I'm also going to enlarge this logo and delete site title.
we want people to contact us so I'm gonna leave a link to Instagram in this button by clicking on link here and click enter I'm gonna do the same in the social section and link Instagram to the word Instagram by going to the right and adding the link here Now I want to save this page, so I'm going to click on save and again. Then I'm going to click on WordPress in the corner and again to go back to the dashboard. Now if I click on site title here. I can see my design. And the last thing we're going to do is click on site title. And then we're going to go to settings, general. And we're going to change site title to the name of our brand. And we're going to add our tagline. And then we're going to add our site icon. And we click save settings. Perfect. So the site icon appears on the top here. If we give it a minute and then click on visit site, we can now see our site icon on the top here. And that's it. We also have a page link there, which has no information, but if you want to know how to edit this page, you can click on dashboard and go to pages and then click edit. doesn't have to be an about page you could just double click and change it and then add information here I don't need a second page so I'm not gonna do this I'm actually gonna go back and delete this page by clicking on trash Now if I click on my site again, I'll see that it doesn't say about here anymore. So now that my site is almost ready, I'm going to choose upgrade and it'll take me back to the plan screen. Of course you don't need to upgrade. You could just give someone your site URL, which is hulkdesigns.wordpress.com or whatever 
brand name you insert it in the domain name section if you give this to someone and they put it in their browser it'll take them to your site so once you finish your edits you can now click on the top right log out and that takes you to wordpress.com so if you ever want to log in again just type in wordpress.com and then click on login and then login with the same information you used to create your account and that'll take you to your dashboard again and you can continue editing Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.